I, I guess obviously because you guys would have grown, others would have grown in the space. I spoke about 28 by. Mm. I found it very interesting looking at, what was it the other day, the fitness plus, because I just got this watch yep. and they give you three months free mm -hmm. of fitness plus. Yep. Um, it's becoming a more competitive space. Absolutely. How are you looking at that? Do you just go, like as a challenger brand, you go, okay, well, we've got our positioning and they've got their positioning and we'll just stick to our guns on that? Yeah. Or do you pay more attention to things they're doing from like a product point of view? It's kind of a bit of both. As mm. Laura said, we're, we always want to stay, you know, in our lane and, and be what Kick is about in everything that we do. But at the same time, um, just like our community would be super keen for us to do, like we love keeping up with the latest updates or, or what, what kind of features we can add or how we can, you know, make the app even better or more user-friendly and all that sort of stuff. So mm. we'll always keep an eye on that sort of thing. I mean, particularly with Apple, they're so advanced in like, what they can do mm. and everything, obviously, as well. So it's it's really cool to be able to see all that sort of side of stuff. But at the same time, we are definitely always going to stay in our own lane. And, and, and I think the thing that we've always stayed true to is there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to exercise. Mm -hmm. Some people need to do it in person. Some people need a PT. Some people prefer really, really challenging exercises and then others prefer something that's going to take them 10, 15 minutes and yeah. they can do it at the end of the bed. So we've found what our community loves mm. and also while still touching an outsider community as well who've kind of learnt to love what we're about, mm. um, that we try not to get too distracted by what someone who's going for something else, say maybe a weight loss program or, you know, a challenge mm. is doing because it's just not ever going to really align with, with us and our community. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean, when I looked at it, uh, the, the whole space, I really think there's... I don't know much about the international space, but I know that there's three obvious leaders here. It's Sweat, Yourselves, and 28 by The others are sort of, in various ways, they've got things that are done externally. So um, those three brands, including yours, seem to be the only ones that do a lot of stuff internally. I haven't really seen, even when you search on the Apple Store, I haven't really seen anything in the international market. Have you noticed anyone or is yeah. Australia just ahead of the game with this? Oh, there's there's so much like every yeah. brand has their own fitness program now. Yeah, like, yeah but they're not like <laughs> it, do you know what I mean? They're sort of like um, I don't know like uh, every time I've looked at them and tried to use them because I've got a mate who owns a pretty large business called Gym Leads. It's mm -hmm. sort of like a SaaS company for gyms. Okay. So all the big gyms use their CRM platform that mm -hmm. he's built and he was just saying like there's not really anything that does it the way that these three brands do it. Australia is different, though. I think I think we Australia really focus on community yeah. a little bit more, whereas all of the overseas fitness apps they have also a lot of them are driven solely by digital marketing yeah. and Facebook spend. They just spend a lot That's of money. It. They yeah. get in front of everyone, and yeah. you know they get people on them because they promise that they'll lose weight. In you know, and and that's yeah, it. it's like and that, it's very like muscly ad. and like aesthetic and focus on exactly what you look like, mm. and you might not get not really community behind it it's kind of a brand that they've or a company they've seen that you know fitness apps work really well they know the formula for facebook marketing and, and digital and, yeah. and they and a basic do that program. exactly yeah. right yeah, yeah. it's it, they are basic and, and that never you know, changes no exactly right yeah. there's there's probably maybe 30 apps you know in america that kill it and they their revenue would be extremely high and they all do exactly the same thing but and they just spend a lot of money on digital but the actual yeah. app is exactly the same yeah. The workouts are the same. There's no revolutionary workout that's going to change your life. Mm. It all comes down to the same thing. So mm. do you eye off the US market then? It's it's an interesting... I mean, Kayla does really well in the US, but yeah. Kayla so was... She? Sweat was first to market. So, yeah. and true, true. Yep, yep. They, do, they do a fantastic job. Um, but we... With the US, it's something that we've definitely considered, mm -hmm. uh, except the US market is very... For example, on the App Store, it's more muscly and yeah. like abs. They're into that wheatgrass shot into a super, super sweaty workout that's yes. going to be really intense for 45 yeah. minutes and then go do what they want for the rest of the day. They're not, yeah, it's, it's a little bit different to our community, but it's definitely. And our marketing strategy yeah. based on, you know, we're not saying you're going to lose this much weight in this much time. Yeah. It's And it's not really about transformations or anything exactly. like that. It's like how your mind transforms yeah. and how you feel and that. I think America will get there, but we don't think at this point it's, it's at that point where people are like, oh, I want to find an app that makes me feel good. They're like, we'll I just want to lose. Because yeah. I think that's the other thing that we do have on our side if it works. 
is that there isn't really much like us over in places like yeah. that. No, there's not. Yeah. yeah. So you can use the app if you're in other um, jurisdictions, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, we've got users from all over the so world. So who's, the, the, world. who's the biggest, who's the top five markets at the moment in terms of user base? Australia, number one. <laughs> sure, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, whilst New Zealand is a obviously a much smaller community, we, we do have a lot yeah, of Yeah, New Zealand, there as well. UK, New US, Zealand, yeah. UK, US. And then Europe, yeah. Canada, does Canada come into it much at all? A little bit, and also a little, like, tiny bit from, like, Mexico and different spots as well. Yeah. It's, but, but because Australia makes up the, the mm. most of it, it's kind of, like, divided very minimally through the rest of the world. Yeah, I can I can imagine that, yeah. but I, I'd be intrigued as to what market, mm. like uh, what you're saying about um, the US market, how everything's shiny and mm. big and like yeah. you know, jack to the titch, <laughs> <laughs> is very American, like very, yes. old, very Arnie yes. type thing, whereas like I, I feel like in the UK it would probably do really, UK, Canada, very, I don't know, culturally yeah, a little bit more a similar. Bit more similar. UK definitely yeah. is, is a lot more Especially culturally Especially in our um, Facebook community. Yes. There's a lot of people from the UK in our yes. Facebook community. And yeah. the Facebook community is made up of users who have been subscribers or are current subscribers. So, yeah, the, over time we have definitely um, had quite a lot of people mm. from the UK. Um, join. Join. Yeah. Yeah, That uh, probably that was the thing that, um, that I noticed the most is that UK market. <laughs> 